On February 9, 1986, in the aftermath of snap elections that former President Marcos called, some 35 computer programmers, tabulators, and quality assurance staff of the National Computer Center walked out of this hall and of this building that was then the Comelex National Tabulation Center. That walkout was one of the events that helped spark the people power revolution that removed Marcos some two weeks later, even if it really wasn't part of the plan. But the story is more complex than what many of us knew. History, after all, is not one-dimensional, and it's certainly not always what we hoped it would be. Sixteen of those 35 men and women got together for a reunion on EDSA's 30th anniversary. Some of them flew in from abroad. I sat down with them just after a Sunday lunch in a small restaurant tucked away in the hills of Antipolo Rizal. What transpired was a moving conversation, an hour of storytelling, them telling their own stories in their own words, what they did and why they did it. This is a News.ph special on the 1986 February People Power Revolution. I'm Pia Ontiveros. History is replete with lesser-known heroes. That is why it was important to give each and every one of these 35 computer professionals a name and a face. Because if there is anything these brave 35 men and women did, it was to prove that you don't have to be a hero to do the right thing. Can you introduce yourselves one by one? Uh, give us your name uh, and what roles you each played in February 1986. I'm Jane Rosales Yap. In 1986, I was supporting the Quality Assurance Group. So we check mm -hmm. on the correctness of inputs coming in. Okay, and you are now? After that, I went to Philippine Airlines and then I am now in DBP, Development Bank of the Philippines. Okay. I'm Nina Fajardo Vergara. Um, I was with the tabulation group then. Now I'm with a software company. I'm Achi Concepcion Jimenez. In 1986, I was a tabulator for regions 4 and 5. I can still remember that. Uh, after the walkout, I went to Bank of the Philippine Islands and I'm now process consultant for Point West Technologies Corporation. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Charles Chan. Uh, at that time, I was in charge of one of the computers to tabulate the results for one of the regions. Which the region? Regions. You remember? My, my memory is really bad, but I think <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, if I have to make a guess, it will have to be region one. Oh, yeah, Ilocos. Yes. Okay. So, uh, now I live in Sydney, Australia, where I'm still a senior computer programmer for a, a small software company. I'm G. Antonio Silva. Um, on that day, I was, I was uh, doing QA with Danny, and we collect the uh, results, the national results, and we log it. And now. today, uh, now? Uh, after that, we went, I went to BPI, and then I got married, and I went to the U.S. During the walkout, my name was Shawnee Asuncion. That was because I was not married then. My name now is, well, the office calls me Mirna Binamira, but Mirna is my real name, and Sean is my nickname. Uh, during the tabulation, we were, I was part of the data entry team with Lucci, but I can't remember my shift because I was there 24 hours. I wasn't going home. So there was no shift. <laughs> no shift. Uh, today I'm with Accenture. Uh, I, I'm a director for learning. I'm uh, Celine Vinoya before, and I'm, I'm Celine Vinoya Rivera. Um, I was a tabulator. Uh, region 7, I think. After the walkout, I came back to NCC and then went to uh, De La Salle University as an um, head of one of its IT unit. And now I'm based in Australia um, as a system administration for um, the age and disability unit in our local council. I'm uh, Tess Roberto, still Tess Roberto. <laughs> My role during that time was uh, head of the tabulation group, and uh, I made sure that no one else comes to the printer. That's <laughs> 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 the instruction for me. supposed to be I'm with the National Computer Center, but they kind of deactivate 
expected it. So, uh, mahaba kasi yung story. I'm Malin. Uh, Malin Cruz Ngan. That's my, Ngan is my married name. And in the um, 1986, I was um, working then as the consolidator of the regional title. So I'm, I, my job was to generate the national totals. And that the report that I print is the one that is passed to the QA and then reported. Okay, now I'm uh, on semi-retirement. <laughs> I'm working again as uh, admin and accounts for Couples for Christ in Singapore. Uh, my name is Isa Almendral. Uh, back in 1986, I was also a tabulator for one of the regions. I think it is Region 9, I'm not sure. Uh, but I live in uh, New York now, uh, working in New Jersey, uh, still in the uh, information technology field. I'm Alice Torres. Back then, it was my first job, fourth month on the job. And I was the programmer for the first program that will receive the telex. After the NCC event, I worked, as con I worked with BPI, then as a consultant in US and Singapore. Now I'm based here in Manila as a consultant for a programmer for a consulting company. I'm Denny Estolas Vista. I was with G then. Uh, we were part of the night shift and we're doing quality control. So after the summary report came out of the printer, we were supposed to take it out and then we would log it. G and I, we were reconciling. We were making sure that whatever count there was um, in the data entry area, it will also come out in the summary. So that was our job. That was so short-lived because... <laughs> because we had to stop it. <laughs> right now, I'm connected with Shell doing a global role managing the IT contracts. I'm Luchi Levine. During the time then, we were mainframe programmers, no? mainframe ang applications. Namin, so that the new system was very, the system for Comelec is very new to us. So that my data entry, kami, uh, I was asked by my boss, uh, ano sa tingin mo mahirap? And I said, data entry. So doon niya ako inassign. Okay, so together, oh, oh, together with Shawnee, kami yung in charge yung data entry. So kahit na dapat shifting kami, andun yung halos kami 24 hours. And now um, I'm with, uh, I'm now a ret retiree. I've retired from BPI. I'm Mario Labin, the husband of Lucci. Hindi nga, talaga. Yes. Uh, and oh, so yeah. And still, ah. Congratulations. And will be. You know. When did you get married? What, what year? Uh, way back 1978. Ah, okay. okay. No? So at that time of the walkout, we already had two children. My role then was uh, the, really the designer of the computerized system. No? All the, the, the data entry, all the validations there, mm -hmm. up to the, la, the last portion, the tabulation by region. No? And then uh, management of all the what's going on and the, uh, at, that, at that end. I'm not sure if he's a senator from the U.S. that came on the, on Luger. the 9th. Richard no? Luger. Yeah. And I was the one that, was, that at, attended to him. Th that was one of the time that uh, it was correct. Uh, after the walkout, I was forced to go back to NCC because our mainframe was no longer operational. No, so I had to fix it up, and then after two years, I left and joined DBP Data Center, and then Meralco. That's where I retired three years ago. Uh, I'm Kuli Kuliat Medina. Kuliat was my maiden name, um, but my true name is Josefina. So my friends and coworkers in the states call me Josie. Nobody calls me Kuli, but. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I was a librarian during the yeah. walkout. Librarian meeting. Uh, we kept the diskettes, uh, midnight shift, and then after the walkout, uh, I took care of my grandmother for three years. Uh, was excommunicated to Guam with my parents and <laughs> got employed with Citibank and then United Airlines. So I'm now one of the chief dispatchers for United uh, in, in Chicago. I used to be Linda Kapunan. <laughs> I'm now Linda Angeles Hill. Um, during the um, Comelec Tabulation Project, I was um, head of the receiving group. 
And so we were the first point of contact. So when the um, returns arrived, we had to log them, batch them. So if there was a question, then we should be able to go back to the return. So, so it was, you know, in a way maybe primitive, but, you know, we were very proud of that. After the walkout, I joined Philippine Airlines with Jane. Uh, two years later, I, I left for Sydney, Australia to join Qantas, and which, um, where I re re retired from six years ago. In one word, please describe to me how you feel right now about February 9, 1986, that moment you walked out. The first word that, that enters me. One word, or if you want two. <laughs> among three <laughs> or it'll be never ending yeah mine is god inspired really god inspired. i couldn't have done it the courage the bravery proud uh, i think that's how i feel now Ako din of proud i think life-changing honored the same, same? <laughs> yeah. honored. that's why that's why when we walked out i felt so betrayed betrayed because we tried everything to make it a clean yeah. system. Memorable. Memorable. Life-changing. Historic. Historic. It's a defining moment. I would feel, ito, marami to. Um, I found a family, so and, and I'm so happy to be with them again, right now. Mine is life-changing, because everything changed after that. At least you did that change me. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least I, I think I did an, an, uh, a, a noble thing. No? Sa akin kasi yung uh, sampal, suntok, tsaka kurot, no? Pero it was, uh, for me, it was a plan, if it was part of God's uh, grand plan for each and everyone, and for the country as well. Ako, oh, I'm inspired that there are people like this in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>
doctor, we were doctoring the results because we were wearing white. Yeah, you were wearing white. Yeah. And Why were you in white? What's that? that uniform. 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 Pink, I think. It was a white blazer. No. You mga computer programmers of present, they wear that. No, no, no. it was just for that. I think in, in, the my, my yes. speculation is they wanted us to look very clean. Oh, okay. <laughs> Immaculate white, then yeah. you're in... The first few ones, we were trying to calm ourselves because we were very anxious. Uh, we wanted the summary to be there on the whiteboard so people would be happy that we were doing our job. But then eventually, we just thought that maybe they were just delaying it, waiting for some votes to come, more votes to come. And then the first one that they posted was exactly the one that we had. But after that, uh, they were, at first they were delaying it until the senator came, then that was the first time that we had the same summary uh, with the board. But after that, we were so afraid already and frustrated because what they had on the board was more than the numbers that we have on our summary. At that point, you did not know where those numbers yeah, were coming from. Yeah, and okay. at that point, we requested for, you know, meeting like... Um, there was some change in the process. What are we going to do now that we are not lodging, for example, in our logbook, the summary report? So that's why we wanted to talk to Linda, I remember, or to some supervisor just to, mm -hmm. to agree, like, what's the process now? Where are these numbers coming from? Because it's not aligned with what we have. We're not able to do our jobs anymore, yeah. Danny and I, because we didn't have the, we didn't have the results anymore. The prints, we were supposed to get the printouts from the printer. We only got it once. After that, they were pulling it out directly from the printer, and we were, there was nothing for Who's us. Who's they? Who was pulling it out? Supervisors. Supervisors. Supervisor. And then where were they bringing the numbers? Behind. There was, a, there, was a room. there was there a room. There was a room backstage, backstage, and there were a number of men or consultants working on the results. They were getting the printouts from us. Who are those men? And they, they have calculators. <laughs> calculators? Oh. And then what will come out will be a, short, a small piece of paper. That's the one that we small piece of paper, what? Per no. region. Per region, mm -hmm. handwritten, figures handwritten. Apparently, yes. And that's the one that's copied okay. to the yes, process. Yes, The process was, so, you know, re um, um, the returns are received, they're logged, and they're, this will be, be reported. But after um, a report is released, it has to go through, uh, it had to go through a board of consultants. I don't know if you remember that, which is composed of five distinguished men from IT. And they were, I think they may have been a compromise between Comelec and, um, and Namfrel, that they had to be like an overseer. So before it was posted, they had to look at it to vet it, you know, just to make sure that it's uh, okay. And I think that was the part that was missed after a while and I just went okay. straight to the backstage I think I did not really see it because I was in the data entry so we were kind of focused on the people entering the tab the the precinct counts and and there were many how many were there hundred something and every now and then once one PC will bug down and then we have to we have to uh, diagnose and so so I didn't know it the first time I heard it was when Irma pulled me aside and said, there's something wrong. And I remember my first reaction was, please check your program, because how can it be wrong if our program was right? And so she said, nothing is wrong with the program. Check it anyway. I said, because nakakahiya naman kung tayo yung may kasalanan, di ba? So she was saying na, it cannot be the program because some numbers were the same, were as in the report. Some numbers went up, and some some numbers went down, so she did. And then that time when it tabul when it tallied, finally I said, Linda, let's go home. So we went home. Y you went home because because we haven't gone home for. <laughs> I mean, I haven't gone home yeah. since the since the February seven. Okay. And that was already February eight. Yeah. Okay. So so I said, well, you know, at that time I remember it was only. 25% that was being counted. So I said, if there's 75% more to go, I need to get some clothes. And then, so we, so we went home, and then Irma, I think they were in PICC. So she called us to say something is happening again. So I had to call Linda to say, we need to go back. We, we didn't even sleep. I just had time to take a bath. And then, uh, so, so, she, so we went. We got there, if you remember, Linda. We got there the 
the parking lot was empty. It was so dark, nobody was outside. In fact, there was even a sign that said, gallery full. And I, I was thinking to myself, because ever since we started, it never got full. There were people, but it, it really not jam-packed. And supposedly, the gallery is for the public to watch the count whenever they want. So it said full, so I was kind of happy. When we got in, wala naman masyadong tao. So I said, so what was the sign outside about? And there were people queuing to get in. And, but they said, sorry, it's full. So, so then, you know, we called them and then we asked, so what's wrong? Um, in fact, Irma had a printout that she showed me. Before we even met as a group, she had this computer printout that she folded like 50 times. <laughs> Because she, because she had to hide, she had to hide it. it. We get yeah, out. she had to yeah. hide it in her pocket just to show me. And then, okay. well, where is that computer printout now? It's probably with her. I don't okay. know where. To, but and then she wrote the one that was on the board, and and you know she was really just proving to me that it's not our program. Because that's the worst insult you can give to a programmer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> to say that their program is has a bug, right? So, so she really wanted to prove it, and she showed it to me. And I said, "What do you think is going on?" And then she said, eh, "What do you want to do? <laughs> Let's just go home." And I and, and me, I felt like all throughout the days when we were programming it, I wasn't a programmer. So, but I stayed in the office. They were sleeping in the office every night. I was kind of just you know going around. I I could even see that they were on their desk, holding on to their pencils, and asleep. So when they said, "Wag na lang," I mean, you know, if we're if they're not going to use the report that we're going to generate, what for? Mm. And besides, we're tired. We want to sleep. We want to drink. <laughs> yeah. Each region has its own programmer, so they know the results. They see different. When you say there is something wrong, uh, at that point, were you, were you already thinking there's some cheating going on? Or no, it's just it's what, what? Maybe it was just hmm. some mistake. Maybe they transposed the numbers. We didn't really think that until we, we met that night, right? So you met Feb 9, dinner time. Uh, you, you met to what? I Go actually ahead. think we met the night before, yeah, which is February 8th, okay. uh, during dinner time, during our break. Now, some of us, uh, I mean, you've been hearing the name Irma, so that's yes. Irma Sunico, and then our other colleague, Jules Valderrama. So they were the senior designers, I believe, of the system. Mm -hmm. So that they sort of then are the ones who first raised the alarm about it, because they know, they know what they wrote, they know their system. And all of us, you know, were worried about what's happening, and then that is then that we discussed that we needed to uh, raise this issue with our senior managers like uh, Linda and with Irma, uh, with uh, Shawnee. Yeah. So that was Saturday, no? and then Sunday morning was when the observers, the foreign observers came, they about, yeah. about 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and it matched. And it matched. The, the figures matched. So what a relief, you know. Yeah. For, and you then, know, so you know. thought, the bug, oh, okay, you maybe in a bug or something. Yeah. Okay. So okay, now. So, no. so that was February 9th. Nine. Yes. That's no, February 9th. Morning. Yes. morning. Yes. Morning. Yes. morning. Yes. All right. Evening. But then you so also that, said that right after that, things went back to yes. abnormal. Yes. The data before uh, the observers came, it was more like they they were delaying the result. So they, they had less on the big big board than our summary but after the on the evening of the ninth after the observers left they had more numbers there than what we counted so that was really alarming personally when i walked out i did not want to be a hero i did not want to start a revolution you know after 30 years you talk to us individually or as a group we will not change our story
This week, the nation remembers the 1986 EDSA People Power Revolution of 30 years ago. So we continue with the story of the 35 men and women who walked out of the Comlex Tabulation Center for the 1986 snap elections. Some people call them heroes. They say they weren't. It doesn't really matter what you call them because you don't have to be a hero to do what you believe is right. This is the second part of a News.ph special on the 1986 EDSA revolution. I'm Pio Antiveros. The data before the observers came, it was more like they they were delaying the result, so they, they had less on the big big board than our summary but after the on the evening of the ninth after the observers left they had more numbers there than what we counted so that's when we decided okay, somebody was supposed to signal that let's go so when i saw the proof in print out nga sabi ko wow sabi ko this is it so we so, I, mean, I, I think we should talk to someone higher than me, you know. We tried to ask questions and I don't think he, ans he, I don't think he was able to answer any yeah. questions, no? So he really, that wasn't mm -hmm. successful. He went back to the floor and he came to me and he brought up even higher than him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I said, so you told him and oh, he said he deserves a trial, this even higher person. So, and then I said, oh, you know, uh, it's malabo, you know, the, you know, they're really ready to, you know, to do, you know, they're, they're, they're breaking up now. And when I heard that there was something going on, I was, I was already getting butterflies in my stomach, you know, a really scary thought. So I talked to one of the board of consultants, um, and I talked to him about twice. Sabi ko, is it possible that they do? And I remember him saying, no, I don't think so, because, you know, you didn't have much time, you know, and they, we didn't, they didn't. No one had time to make a second system. But in the end, he agreed with us, but he didn't walk out with us. He walked out after. And I remember Irma saying, let's go to the press. Pero, what we thought talaga, our walkout was our statement. Sabi, you have to say, you know, what, what are you doing? What are you, you know? Sabi, no, no, there's something here. You go and investigate. Pretty much, di ba? You know, yeah, sabi, you yeah, go, yeah, may kalokohan doon. But, mm. which is really naive, no? Actually, we, <laughs> well, we never yeah. said na we will stage a walkout or something. Parang it mo, it really came as a co sa conversation na parang, ano ba yan, nakakainis, binab binaboy tayo, binastos tayo. Parang yun ang feeling, eh, na parang kung hindi rin lang gagamitin yung system natin, bakit pa tayo pinahirapan, etc. Kung ganyan din lang, edi eh, mag-walkout na tayo. Parang ganun lang ang pagkasabi. Hindi yung tipong, or we will make this a historic event. Okay, so we, we, we timed it. And, and Maite is the one there on the stage, remember. So you'll be the clock. Sabi natin sa kanya, di ba? When you stand up, then everybody will stand up. And then we will all walk. What was the signal? No. I, mean, I, I had to make sure that the cars were there. Okay. Ah, yeah. Di ba? But prior to uh, walking out, <laughs> uh, we, we need to uh, do the out control delete thing para be able to uh, use the system or access the data. Actually, one okay. of the SA who designed the system, Sani Polido, he walked out with us, but the day after, he was fetched by a group of people and he was, uh, I think, threatened. And so he has to, uh, to put the system back. So I when think, you walked oh, yeah, out, yeah. people were cheering you on. Yeah. So what was it? Can you describe it to us? What were you feeling? Actually, when, when we were outside PICC, there were a lot of people surrounding us and so many people shouting, protect them, protect them. That's when everybody started crying and, and wondering why, why do we need protection? <laughs> Who was in the front? Of the first row, uh, while you were walking out. It was Linda, then Shawnee, then me. Ma'am, you, you mentioned Red, so Colonel Kapunan. Of course, everybody kasi at that time thought na, ah, it's part of the plot, it's a ram plot, etc. But of course it wasn't. When I asked for a car, this is a story, this interesting story. So I asked for three cars, I spoke to the driver, and but and then he said, okay, I'll, I'll ask. He, you know, he, he had to ask permission. Red at the time was meeting with Gringo Nasan, Colonel Almonte, Vic Batak, and all those. And I wonder what they were talking about. And he started to wonder because he's having a. He knew that I just got there 
mid, mga 5 o'clock ng gabi. And then, a few hours later, nagpapasundo na and three cars and a camera. But midday on Sunday, when I went home after a shift and Shawnee and I, we were having lunch sa bahay and Red was there. And that's when Shawnee said, oh, you know, yung discrepancy, it's gone. Kasi nag-match. Nag and that was before the, I mean, after Lugar and, and company visited. So sabi niya, okay na. So parang bag. So, uh, Okay. Si Red, later on, you know, sabi niya sa akin, he was listening, pero sabi, he put two and two together. So, nung humingi ako ng three cars, sabi niya, parang meron silang pinag-usapan na meron silang nakita. Tapos, so anyway, so sabi niya, okay, send the cars, pero he went to PICC himself, by himself, in another car. Kasi, he knew medyo, something was may, wrong may kabado na siya. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, when he came there, this you don't know pa siguro, when he arrived sa PICC, sabi niya, wala namang nangyayari eh. Tapos nagpadala siya ng message. Sabi niya, your husband is here. So, naakala ko yung driver. <laughs> yung pala si Red talaga. So, kaya ako nag-signal na ako dahil nandun na. Pero si Red pa lang yun. Anyway, paalis na si Red. Kasi sabi niya, wala namang nangyayari. Sabi niya, siguro something lang. So, paalis na siya. Tapos bumukas yung pintuan ng plenary hall. Tapos nakita niya, doon kagulo na. And so he stayed. Oh, and of course, none of you had any plan as to where you were going that night. Because like, kanina, sabi niyo, na natakot kayo bigla. Protect yeah. them, protect them, di ba? And then, what, what, when what we were in niya? the cars na, so finally dumating yung kotse, and doon na 11, 12, sa isang no, kotse. I think you first, there was a van. Someone had a van. Oh, oh. And, and asked us, where are you going? Uh -oh. And I said, no, do you want us to take you wherever you're going? So because we were afraid, so we all went into that van. We were the first, first van. And then they were asking us, where do you want to go? We just want to go home. And I said, and someone uh, suggested, uh, the driver, I think, let's bring them to the U.S. Embassy. I said, no, we don't want to go there. And then they said, oh, how about Bakla? Uh, uh, another... Corey's headquarters and they said no we don't want to be there and they said how about a neutral place let's bring them to Baclaran and that's when they started following the van Eric also I asked Eric to come to pick me up with a car and actually when they walk out I was outside because I brought out some of the evidences actually <laughs> in fact they told us one of the vans is going to Baclaran, so you better go there na para sama-sama kayo. So, yung pala, yung din na sinabi nila doon sa kabilang van, that they were going to Baclaran, kaya we ended up going there. And that's why there, there were some misimpressions that you were doing this for the opposition, you weren't doing this for anyone. Correct. In fact, I think if you ask us individually who we voted for, iba-iba kami. Talagang walang, walang direction. In fact, the association with RAM in Baclaran, that was the first time I saw Red and I was scared because who is this guy? Who is very dark? <laughs> I know. He's very red. So, tapos sinabi na, oh, sige, we will go to Camp Aguinaldo. Camp Aguinaldo? Parang, di ba? That was... Parang yun yung, talagang hindi ko kilala si Red. I didn't know anything about okay. Ram. And uh, also, if you know this, but si Red was only prepared to secure me. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Kasi ba, I mean, and in parang how would you, it did, <laughs> and you, and you, and you, and So, sorry, in fact, nung ano, nung nasa, it took us a long time to make a statement, remember? Okay. I don't know, hours daw. And sabi, mm -hmm. tapos sabi ni ano, Red sa akin, if you like, I can take you home now. So, sabi ko, no, you know, because we were into it, in, in, in it together. Na. So, so that's, that's why I see Red. Red was not, so, you know, if people say na Ram was in it from the beginning, no. Mm -hmm. okay. I just happened to be married to one Ram member, officer. We basically felt trapped in that there were these crowds which were around. All these press were there waiting for us to make a statement. And I guess at the end of the day, for us to be able to leave and finally go home, then we had to make a statement. Well, the one main idea of the statement was that you weren't doing this for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That we are professionals. We are, our, our, our group uh, worked really hard uh, to do this tabulation system for the presidential elections. And because of these discrepancies, we're not going to stand by and sort of uh, you know, honor these results that we do not believe in. And so that as professionals, then we wanted to walk out. This is, you have the statement? Yeah. Can you? 
like you can uh, parang show and tell. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Let's see. The draft. Yeah. The draft. Okay. You know, Pia. Yes. When I think I remember when I was in, I think I was in the middle vehicle, eh, and I I heard somebody in the crowd saying. Uh, we will take you to Hacienda Luisita. And we said, no, 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 we don't want to go there. When we got there, we wanted to talk only to the parish priest. And he wasn't there. Until finally, Father Bernas of Ateneo came. And then I said, Father, uh, the only person we can trust is you. And then, and then he said, okay, can you make them go? <laughs> Who, who them? The crowd. The crowd. The crowd. We wanted the crowd because to go. Because we want to okay. go home. And then he said, you know, they're not going to leave until you make a statement. Uh, how did it happen? Uh, biglang lahat na nga kayo? Okay. After oh, okay. this, uh, some of us, they came with me at home. And then, I think during the day, February 10, some, we were communicating with the group at Aguinaldo. And I think they asked us to go there because uh, it seems like there's there's danger and it's easy to secure the whole group as ano lang, one group lang rather than two places. I remember we had many offers then, like... Um, go to the U.S., you know, and all those stuff. Embassy. Embassy. Remember that? US. There was those US people Embassy. floating, and US. then what we decided US. that we want, yeah, that we wanted, to, yeah, asylum, they were offering asylum or something. Toto ba yon? Yeah. Yeah, and Philippine Airlines was yeah. ready with the aircraft waiting wow. for us. So Loyola House, Seneca, tell us naman yung mga anecdotes. The fun, I'm sure there are a lot of funny stories pinaka-dramatic for me was yung sa house nyo, nag tayo with Father Pagulayan. I remember that. Okay. Tapos, nandun yung mga Smurfs sa... Uh, <laughs> yung Smurfs, ah, wait, wait. Yung Smurfs yung security nila. Yun ang tawag nila, Smurfs. So, those were actually the guys who took care of us, who guarded us during the time we were in Aguinaldo. So, but anyway, so we had this mass with Monsignor Pagulayan. The Smurfs were on the um, fence guarding us with their, with their big, with their Uzis. And then we prayed. Tapos sabi ni Father Pagulayan, parang it's like saying a mass in the catacombs of the first Christians. Kasi talagang nakasara lahat ng windows, nakasara na, kasi nga, we were, we were in danger. Parang that was the first time, iyakan talaga tayo. Kasi talagang parang takot na takot kami at that time. It was also scary transporting us from Baclaran to your, to Aguinaldo because the drivers were ready with the Uzi. Uzi ba yun? So, Naka-clock, uh, ready na sila to fire o may sumusunod ba? Parang, ang bilis-bilis natin tapos may sumusunod. Ready mga, tapos tayo nakadak, di ba? Nakadak with, ready with the wet, towel. wet towels for tear gas. My husband okay. and I were, were not with them, no? Uh, we, we went out with them kanya lang nakita namin na surrounded na sila. We went uh, outside of the circle because we were carrying the evidence. So, sa amin mga diskets and then we put it in the car. Do you still have the diskets? All the evidences were given to a set of lawyers that came in while we were in San Aquel. I, for one, was being blamed for taking this case, back up this case, and destroying the tabulation system. Mm -hmm. I didn't know then that one of my programmers changed the password. I was surprised that why did you do that? No, that they, they have a reason to call us. As saboteurs, because mm -hmm. what you did, you, they were not able to continue the the, uh, the count, no, for uh, almost a week. So. Earlier, you were saying that you already had children at yes. the time that you walked out. Yes, were you uh, were you thinking of your kids also? Because so we went to Baclaran, but then uh, Marisa told us, "You have children, better not join us." Oh. Delicado. So we left, and then we went home. But then a few days after, we were able to uh, hear to hear that they're all in Campaginado. So I, we talked with Linda, Linda said, better come here, we will be protected here. So we went there. When we arrived at Linda's place, we were, they were already leaving for Ateneo. So we went to Ateneo. Kami huling huli, so we didn't even see the arch, uh, cardinal scene. No. Tapos andun na kami sa room, and then we're going to another place. So, wow, Senakel. And that's the place, at the back of Senakel is my sister's house. And my children were there because uh, wala nga kami. So every morning, naririnig namin mga anak namin, nagsasalita, go eating breakfast because they're going to school. 
So yun yung ano, at least alam namin nangyayari sa mga anak namin kahit na nando kami sa Sena. I just returned to work uh, before the walkout. Actually, I gave birth December 3. So, two, year, two months na maternity leave. So, I remember breaking down at Sena ko, uh, realizing that I may not see my daughter anymore. <laughs> Sa Are you nas, crying? The yeah. scary part for me. You're crying me like 30 when, years ago. Oh, yeah. Still, yeah. Remember when Rex would discuss our options? Uh, okay. That was really scary. Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, oh. I who, who would discuss your uh, Rex, si Rex Robles? Robles. In yeah. fact, meron tayong ano, no, numbering system. Yeah. Yeah. We had uh, one, two, three. Everybody had a number. And you're supposed to ha- look out for at least to other people. Mm-hmm. And we had to write our number under our shoes. Yeah. Yeah. We had to write our numbers under our shoes just in case somebody um, assassinates or whatever. We will know who got lost. Now that you're talking about it today, no, that's 30 years ago. No? Does it still seem like it was just yesterday? Now lang that I've heard some people say na ganun pala yung kwento nila, which we never really had a chance except today to talk about it. Really, this is the first time after 30 years that as a group, we're talking about the event. I mean, maybe one-on-one, a little of that, a little of this, but really to piece the whole picture, for me, I don't think it's even complete because some of the girls are not here. So some of you brought memorabilia, some of... Can you show us... Yung things that mean something to you. A lot of those uh, newspaper clippings, they're there, but we know that they're not the truth. They're so hurtful for us. When we read stuff that weren't true. Like which ones? Which one was hurtful, for example? What, what was said about we it? We were planted, we were, we were saboteurs. Your saboteurs. One of the first headlines kasi after we walked out was that we were told to cheat Corey. We In, never said that. We only said that there, we noted discrepancies between our tab- tallies and the ones that are printed on the board. They did not even ask us to cheat. They did that on their own. We just, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. We just said that there's something wrong here, and we pointed that out. The misunderstanding oh, yes. then is still happening now. It hurts us that we would be called just data encoders when we are professional <laughs> this pro- the designers, programmers. We have vice presidents in airlines, local and abroad. Yung feeling nila na meron kami fine-favor? Wala eh. Kasi all we wanted to say was uh, merong hindi tamang nangyayari. We don't want to put our cred- yung malagyan ng credibility yung results na yun. So we didn't say who won. Hindi namin finished na kung yung total count. Hindi namin sinasabing si Marcos nanalo, hindi namin sinasabing si Cory nanalo. And personally, what's hurtful is people don't realize the sacrifice each individual did. Some people lost uh, not just the job, people lost their partners, their boyfriends, because of we had to stand for our yeah. And we've lost a lot. It's, it's a, it was a big sacrifice. That's why I say it's God's grand design. Um, it it ended up well for everybody, but it was a big sacrifice for not not from the very just from the start. We sacrificed a, even a few years or a few years down the road after I am. after this. I talked to some people who were really distressed because they lost their jobs. It wasn't fun at all. Na nagtatago ka na, wala ka sweldo. Nag-argue sila with their parents. Kasi yung Yung parents nila voted for the other ano, candidate. My brother was in the military and my sister-in-law was my sister-in-law was a personal nurse to Marcos. So I my when my brother told me when I called him that, you know, I'm not going, we're not going home and he goes, No, you come home, I'll protect you. No, I can't put I can't get you in trouble. So I can't come home. Yeah, life changing. <laughs> Just to lighten things up a bit. You have that grocery list? Well, we were in hiding in Senacal. Yeah. We were in hiding in Senacal for how many days? Nine. Nine, 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 days. nine days. So the personal um, the personal effects, the toiletries were actually running out. So we had a brother from the Ateneo, father, now Father Pedro Walpole, 
who did errands for us. And so he had, he had, this is one of his grocery lists. We had to list down every, whatever the girls needed. So everybody made their contributions there. So you will see who had their periods during that time, <laughs> who had LBM. <laughs> who had LBM at that time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Various, various brands of, yeah. Various brands of deodorants. Yeah, and shampoo that shampoo no, longer no longer exists. exists. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He would bring this to the grocery and then his cart will be filled with uh, feminine products and then he will just tell the the cashier that it's for the sisters. <laughs> but nung, uh, we were in Seneca on February 14th, uh, Valentine's Day. Red gave us, si Red, yon, diba? Red gave us one rose each. And then Father Pedro bought us a heart-shaped cake that he couldn't explain. And then the, the cashier was saying, For what, Father? <laughs> then he said, For the sisters? I can't. No, no, no. He said, I can't tell you. And then February 16 was Jules birthday, right? So we had pizza and Coke. Parang it was a small celebration. When, when something so life-changing, the words you used, when something so life-changing as this happens, and you, you, you tend to, I, I suppose, bond with those you went through it with, diba? Oh, oh, I mean, 30 years and you're still, you yeah. still see each other. It's like going to battle, going to war and then coming back, diba? You're, you feel so close to your comrades. It's also the assurance that this group of friends, they understand what I, what I've been through, what's going on with me. So, so yeah, that's why I feel so comfortable with that. As college students now, they weren't even born then. So they don't even know the story. Uh, it was more for integrity. It was it's non-partisan, non non political color. I can die and you know s stay true that I did what I had to do. I know what happened. I know the truth. Retelling the story helps. Uh, I was telling my daughter about the story, and she wrote this article about our reunion. She will be a first-time voter this year, and to her. It, Integrity matters a lot. Final words along. Anybody who wants to talk. You know, after 30 years, you talk to us individually or as a group, we will not change our story, which really means na talagang yun ang nangyari. And even as I'm speaking now, nanlalamig ako because it, it's, it was a very emotional time. It's so much easier to tell the truth. Na? Yeah. 30 years later, you can still tell the truth and not worry about it. So I think this is proof na what we did was what we say. You know, the reasons we gave 30 years ago is how it really was and it still is and this is the proof these people you know so i'm i'm and i'm proud i'm proud to be mm -hmm. one of them i did not want to be a hero i did not want to start a revolution or anything like that it's really just we felt uh, insulted professionally that they that we had we worked hard and then they we were giving credence to something that was anomalous i feel it's it's something that young people can learn about na parang you you stand up for you what you think is right we don't have to do something drastic something big just do the right thing do your work well none of us 35 of us none of us went to politics none of us none of us campaigned for anybody parang it's it's to show you now we were really just simple folk no political agenda and even now we do not want to be identified with anybody. We really just did it for personal, professional uh, reasons, for reasons of integrity. Yeah. That's the most important, yeah. integrity. Okay, okay, no more na. <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay na. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching News.ph. I'm Pia Antiveros. See you next Wednesday.